guys, it's that British head, and today we are going to be doing something special, and yes, the stuff is still here from last episode, I mean, like, I could practically race in this, but today, I'm going to show you guys how to build a dragon egg incubator, because I heard if you play around with these things, you can occasionally hatch a BB Ender Dragon, so I'm keeping it contained until I can actually do it. So what you're going to need to build this are wooden planks, glowstone, glass paints, fences, redstone torches, and one dragon egg. And I brought the sword in case it does hatch because that would be really bad if it shot fireballs at my cats. So what you're going to do is put a hole in the center and put the glowstone there. Circle it with wooden planks. Plop the dragon egg in the middle. Oh! Auto-save again. I hate you. Oh, dang it. I hate this auto-save. I wish I could control it somehow. And I'll wait till it gets back in, which is probably going to be quick. Yep. Here we are. So you plop the egg in the middle. Use these, <coughs> the glass panes, to surround it again and do the same thing on the top. Now it would be cool if you added a glowstone top, but if you do this in survival, it's probably going to be pretty hard to gather all the that glowstone. So what you do on the top, is place down fence posts, one on like every side maybe, and boop, and boop, and there you have it. Your very own Dragon Egg Incubator. Now, before this video ends, I'm actually going to show you what I mean by the egg teleporting around. And we're going to see if we can actually can hatch a baby dragon. So, first you, what you gotta do, put the egg down, poof, it's gone, but not for long. See, it's right over here. It teleports! It's a teleporting egg! Except it might take a- oh! Oh, it's right there! It takes a little while to find it. Oh, what the heck? Where is it going? Does this thing like to teleport? Apparently, yes. So, so I want to get this guy in a go Where'd it go? It was just there. What the heck? It was just there. Did it go in the mini jungle or what? Did it go underwater? Because in my other worlds, I had some cases where it did actually go in the water and I couldn't pick it up. Oh, there it is! So, it's like, if you watch the Diamond Mario Kart, you know this is obviously going to turn into a forest dragon, like in the dragon's thingy. Hold on, let me get some dirt quick. Press block. Replace the lever, because that was part of the stuff I used to actually get the egg. But, also, before the video ends, like, I'm just gonna build another incubator around it. Except this one, not with a glowstone over top, I'm actually going to build a glowstone roof to see what happens. It probably, it's probably not gonna do anything, but worth a shot. Shoot. Let's... Go. Oh, yeah. Egg's already in the middle. Get out of here, vines! Glowstone ceiling! It's actually a lot brighter if you like to travel away from your home. And that way, you can see your dragon egg incubator from a very, very, very far distance in the night. So that's pretty useful. Also, what the redstone torches do, it gives it the Herobrine effect because Herobrine can pop up quickly because he is been in my game lately, he spawned slimes underwater and put a sign there that says, these are fish. LOL. It was weird. Now I'm going to show you guys how to harvest the actual dragon egg. I don't know if you can see anything, but I can see just fine. So like, pretend this is the pedestal where the dragon egg is. Just pretend, because I'm not going the tr into the trouble of beaming into another world and actually trying it. So, you're going to put a piston here. Oop, drop the torch. Make it face the egg. 
and then the redstone torch actually is going to come in handy. Come on. Where are you? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Where'd the redstone torch go? Did I pick it up? Oh, yep, picked it up. Must have not heard it pop into my inventory. And this can be used with a lever or a button or whatever. But you put it down and see, it pushes the egg and boop, there you have it. So, boop, boop, destroy the shrine, thingy badoodle. I'm going to build stuff in the end because it's like a perfect building space for stuff. But... It would be so cool, like, in my animal farm, like, since the squid keeps disappearing that I put inside there, he keeps going into the ocean. Get out of here! Just so you know, a chicken died here. It died at this spot, if you're wondering what that is. Get out of here! Yeesh. Like, it could be cool to have a little ender dragon as your... Like, maybe you could hatch it and it turns into your own tame little ender dragon. Mm. It would be so cool if you could put it in a cage. That would be, that would be just sick. That would be just so cool. Oh, yep. Trophy's still there. Fluffy's still there. The rest of the guys are still there. And if you're wondering what that big thing over there is, this is like a gas simulator thing. So how it works... I'm just going to break inside see if it's still here. We have a cow, and as it walks around on the pressure plates, it's going to activate a arrow cannon. Just gonna put that like rest, rest, and then when the arrow cannon's activated, it looks like it's going to shoot a fireball out of its mouth. I tried the fireballs, but it just scared the crap out of me each time I did it. And the artillery rage, arrow shooting cannon, fireball shooting cannon egg shooting cannon, which doesn't really come in handy. Like, what do you want to do? Make egg soup in the water? What the, what the heck? So... Anyway, guys, this is another video made by That British Head. Make sure to slap that like button with your creeper leg or wig, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, and just so I don't forget this, Leave comments for suggestions. Goodbye!